Hi. We're using this book, Oh, The Places You'll Go. You can read it online. You don't need to read the whole story. It's not important even which page you read. The point is to notice the rhyming on any page. Here's a page. Out there, things can happen and frequently do to people as brainy and footsy as you do and you rhyme. You can skip a line. You can write something on one line and then skip a line and then write another one. Um, so on your third line, you and do could rhyme. There's different ways to do it. And when things start to happen, don't worry, don't stew. I'm gonna guess that stew is gonna be the word they're gonna try to rhyme with. Just go right along, you'll start happening too. Sure enough, stew and to rhyme. So your job after you've written your rough draft of all the things, the five things that are about you, the best part of you, Mrs. Rogers is my mouth for my voice. I'm gonna write five things about that. When you write five things about it, then go back today and try to add some rhyming words in it to make it flow. Mm -hmm. If you were on campus today, we use drum beats. You can practice at home, get a drum beat and see when you read your words, whether it beats out, mm -hmm. right? Beat it out. Here's an example. If I was to write mine, I would say, my mouth is the best part of me. Now, if I wanted to rhyme something here, I would rhyme possibly about what my mouth does. My mouth can sing. Now, is it possible I could rhyme with sing to make this whole thing come alive, right? If I underline that for a second and think about it, my mouth can sing, it has a ring, right? Like a ring to it, right? Get creative with how you would write. My mouth can sing, it has a ring. You decide, that's what you wanna focus on. Trying to create a final draft of the best part about you that describes five things about your magical, beautiful self and you start to rhyme it. We're gonna get you in breakout rooms if you are online today to make sure you read yours to someone and make sure it ends really nicely. Make the whole thing flow, read it until it flows, maybe clap your hands to the beat however it works to make it flow. Your final, you will take a picture on the iPad. I'd like you to write your final in your handwriting. I think it will be more magical that way because it will look more like you. Whether you like your handwriting or not, it doesn't matter. Just handwrite it out. I would suggest doing it on the line paper in your subject notebook or flip it over to just the blank side and write it on a blank paper. That would be fine for your final in your own handwriting. I love it. Great job.